In today's episode, Chef Kendra and Chef Yasso Backman show us how to make a delicious classic white veal stock using Prairie Street's veal breast pocket bone in. It's like a Miami sunrise. That right there. Delicious. That's Super it. simple. Welcome to the Prairie Street Culinary Kitchen. I am one of your chefs today, Chef Kendra, and I am with... Chef Yussel Backman. Chef Yussel is a world-renowned private chef, has worked in the highest and most amazing restaurants everywhere internationally, and takes so much of what you learn in those different countries, in those different places, from your clients, and you bring it back home with you. Back to the Prairie Street Kitchen. Today we're making a white veal stock using the veal breast pocket bone-in. You work with Prairie Streets meat yes. frequently, right? Yes, yes, yes. Have you ever worked with the veal? I have not. This is the first time and I'm very, very excited about it. Excellent, excellent. So you'll notice that, well, I don't need to tell you this, I'll tell these guys this, but quintessential to Prairie Street's products is like this amazing meat cap and marbling. And we all know that fat does what? Flavor. Totally. So we are going to separate this. Chef Yosso is going to work with the veal breast pocket part of it. And I'm going to be working with the bones. And the bones, we're going to show you how to do two different kinds of stock, a brown stock and a white stock. But before we get to that, we're going to break it down. Let's do it. We're going to start by flipping it over. So here are the rib bones. Here is the chine bone. So in general, when you're butchering, always a knife kind of comes second. Start with your hand. We want to kind of figure out where the, you know, the lines are, where mm -hmm. things kind of separate. Um, so we're going to start here. It kind of pops open over here. So this is our veal breast pocket right here. And as you can see, there's already where the fat is separating. So mm -hmm. we're just going to go ahead and kind of go al right along there and kind of just break it apart. You can use a little knife to yeah. kind of separate it just like that. And I'm just going to make one quick note that the veal breast pocket bone in and also our veal breast pocket boneless, we have both of those available to you. We slice the pockets for you so you don't have to worry about that. You'll see in a lot of our videos that we talk to you guys about using the bones, using the ends, making things like stock. Now we're gonna show you how to finally do it. All right. So You move with such are. ease. Here we are done. We got our bones right here. Excellent. And we got our veal breast pocket right here, separated. Perfect. I am going to be cleaning up these bones with the help of Chef Yessel. And then I'm going to be using half of these to make our white stock and then half of these to make our brown stock. Let's get right. cooking. Okay, so now it's time to make our white stock. Super classic, super traditional. So before you make any stock, you have to clean the bones. If you remember, we did a kosher pho recipe using prairiestreet.co's beef meaty soup bones. And I showed you guys how to clean or clarify the bones. You take them, you put them into a cool pot of water. You bring up the bones to a boil. You're going to see like all this like foam and grossness, kind of gray scum on top. That's getting rid of all those impurities. We already did that here with these bones because you can just go back and watch that video. It's a good one too. Anyway, the bones have been cleaned and now we're going to build up our stock. So again, bones, aromatics, peppercorns, water, heat, thyme. What That's else? It. What else do you need? Super simple. Some love. Oh, always, always. Always love. Always the love. So we're going to take our bones, put them down into our pot of water. And then I'll go through some of our ingredients here. So some black peppercorns, whole. My little favorite bouquet, garni. So I use rosemary, thyme, and some oregano in this. It's, you'll notice that it's on a string. This is kind of like keeping it as a tea bag because the longer you keep it in, the more flavor you're gonna get out of it. And it also helps to keep it all together, okay? So they can go in, submerge, nice. And then 
you'll notice that these guys are kind of going in whole. So they're going to be taken out at the end of the stocking process. So I have a nice leek, cut lengthwise, some white onion, celery. I love the leafy part of the celery that can go right in. Half of a garlic sliced down horizontally, right in. Half of a shallot, because I love that like nice, sweet, sweet flavor. super light flavor of the shallot. And a couple of carrots. So that's pretty much it. Now is like the time and the water management process of stock, because stocks are all about water management. We're taking these flavors, we're going to bring them to like a nice kind of soft boil, and then we're going to bring them down to a simmer. Then you can add more water, bring it up a little bit more, and then bring it down again. It's this like really nice kind of marriage of flavors dance to play with. The other thing I definitely want to point out is that in stocks, we do not salt our stocks. I'll let you explain why. So uh, stocks we are reducing, right? Um, we're building that flavor, reducing, concentrating that flavor, and then we're using that as the beginning process for whatever dishes we're yeah. using you know, down the road. As we mentioned, you could use soups and sauces and stews and chalents and whatever it is. Yeah. You don't want to salt it now because that will end up seasoning that dish. Exactly. We don't want to do that just yet. We yeah. want to be able to control that and manage that down the road when we're finishing the dish. Exactly, like managing those flavor expectations. Exactly. So you're hearing us talk about this like boil, reduce, concentrate, all these terms like bringing up the level, bringing the level back down. All that means is that you, the water level is high right now. As it cooks, the water will evaporate and the flavors will condense. The actual liquid will condense down. That takes about like for the first time, it takes about like an hour until like you will really notice a difference in like the level of water in your pot, right? Then you can add some water back up, maybe not so high, maybe just three quarters, about three quarters of the way. Exactly. You always want to keep those bones as covered as humanly possible. Doesn't always work out that way. And then you let it come down again. The second time happens a little bit faster. So that's about like 30 minutes. Would 30 you say? 40. Yeah. yeah, like 30 to 40 minutes. So one of the great things about veal bones, other than they're like light and delicious, they just have that like really beautiful kind of sweet flavor versus that super deep, beefy, beefy flavor, exactly. They're also really high in collagen. So they make a very nutritious bone broth. And people who follow an intermittent fasting diet can only have black coffee, water, and bone broth. Why not like kick it up a notch and have some really delicious some fresh and homemade? Yeah, exactly. So we're going to wait and we'll come back and we'll show you the finished product in about four ish hours. See you in a bit. And there we have it. Our white, our white veal, veal stock. stock. Chef Yosel had removed the bones from that veal breast pocket bone in. We clarified the bones, we added in some aromatics, yes. brought some it herbs. up, let it sit for what, like four and a half hours? Just about. Boom. Gold. Let's taste. Literally. I know, I can't even That's the color like, you're going for. It really is. And it is this like super beautiful kind of like sunrise. Yes. It's like a Miami sunrise. Oh, that's delicious. That right there. No mm. salt. I always get so amazed with stocks when they are done properly you will not believe it you would think that there was salt in here not even a singular gram you know, a, a good stock you also still have a little bit of fat on top and yes. you can really feel that in your mouth it really coats your mouth a proper stock should really like almost take over and like really like really really feel it and yeah. not just taste it but you really feel it in your in your mouth as well yeah and that's one of the great things about using the veal bones versus just like the beef bones is that veal bones naturally have more collagen, the collagen in, them. in there yeah so you are going to get more of that unctuous mouth feel mm -hmm. so there you have it our white veal stock done with the bones that we had cut off of the veal breast 
pocket bone in. Delicious. That's Super it. simple. And just you know, a couple things that you can do with this before we before we send you on your way to go to prairiestreet.co and order the veal breast pocket to make it yourself. Um, you can freeze this for like up to six months and then you give freeze a great it tip. in a ice cube tray. Yes. That way you can just pop it out, whether you're just drinking it yeah. or whether you're throwing it into... Rice. I or, mean, like I actually... Yeah, cook rice yeah, in it, I throw use... it in your chowin, throw it in, make a sauce out of it yeah. for your date night at home. Whatever it is, Boom. just pop it out and you're good to go. There you got it. All right, we'll see you next Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern. Right here, go to our website. We have like a gazillion amazing yes. um, videos for you to help you feel really confident in the kitchen. But remember, it all starts with the meat. All starts with the incredible raw product. Totally. That's where it all starts. That's it. We'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel now and set your notifications so you don't miss our latest recipes and chef-led tutorials. Then head over to prairiestreet.co to shop for your next big meal.